What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create the clone effect. So, um, you want to come in? Yeah, you can take on from that. <laughs> Thanks for the invite. Um, yeah, so to do this it's going to be really really simple. All you need to do is a bit of masking and have your camera on a tripod and put it together. Simple as that, and I'll show you that right now. So yeah, let's get into the video. So here we are on Vegas Pro 16 and this is the raw clip you have just watched. Now this is how you're going to set it up. So you're going to have it all in one clip, your camera needs to be on a tripod and you basically want to try and keep the lighting the complete same. So bear in mind when you're in different positions then shadows will change. So the first thing you do is record you in the first position like I am here, I'm on my right hand side. And then once I've finished I then get up and sit in the other space and basically pretend someone else is there. So now I'll be showing you how to put it together. The first thing you want to do is find the part where you first uh, stop talking. So you can see I stay as this character for a while all the way up to here. Then I want an S on my keyboard to split it and then we go to the part where my next character or me walks in. So right here. Then you want to trim the end of this clip to where you need to stop talking here and just trim it down. Now the next thing you want to do is right click insert a video track, you want to right click and insert an audio track and you want to drag on top on separate tracks the clone effect. Now this is the part where you have to time it. So this is where you choose where you want the clone to come in. So it's right here for me, I'm going to drag this back and this is now what you'll have. So there we go. And this is where we now need to do a bit of masking. So on the top track, select the event pan and crop and select mask. Then I would recommend using the rectangle tool. Usually if you are using it on a pretty even area like I'm doing, for example, here. If you're going to be more complicated position, then use the anchor creation tool. So you can be more accurate in terms of uh, what you're masking. Now what I'm going to do is select the rectangle tool because I know right here is where I want it. Now you may see appear here a line down the middle. So this is what I was talking about in terms of shadow and color changing, but there's an easy fix. Head over to the side and select feather type and select both. And where it says feather percent, just bring it up. So you can see that line is now close to invisible. And believe it or not, we're almost done. You may see by the audio waveforms here that I actually talk over myself. So I'll be showing you how to get around that. But now I'll just play through what we've just done. So you can see it has worked. So you can see I start talking over myself. So how you get around that is actually really, really simple. First of all, you want to split it where you're not talking on the original clip, which is going to be this side for me. So I'm going to press S. Then I want to go to the part just before I talk and press S here. And then I'm going to drag this across to when my clone has stopped talking, which will be here. Then all I'm going to do is hold control on the edge, left click and drag it out. Then we can trim everything down so it's all matching up and you'll see this has now worked perfectly. Thanks for the invite. Um, yeah, so to do this it's going to be really really simple. All you need to do is a bit of masking and have your camera on a tripod and put it together. Simple as that and I'll show you that right now. So yeah, let's get into the video. So you can see just like that all I've done was put this little clip in slow motion and you could barely notice the difference because it's very subtle but that's the way you'd get around that as well and that is how you can complete the clone effect in Vegas Pro 16.